Hello everyone, Vasive here, and welcome back to another episode of Inside. Uh, if you stuck with me last episode, you heard me screech. Uh, that dog snuck up on me, I did not see him until he was right on my booty. And, uh, oh god, he's back. And he, oh god, I thought he was going to go down that ramp. Oh no! Oh, he, oh! Oh, and he just chomps on my neck. Okay. Well, last time I, I screeched quite loud, and I actually I think I, I just screeched my neck because it was kind of hurting there. Um, that was fun, though. I have not screeched that loud in a game in a very long time. Okay, I don't think I just book it. I used to not be so jumpy, but I blame Five Nights at Freddy's for that. Like, even someone just walking next to me in my cube and I don't see him at work or something. Ooh, boy. Makes me jump out of my skin. I used to not have that problem. Haha, <laughs> suck it dog! You can't jump that. Can I control the dog? That'd be great. Oh, that's creeped me out. Dude up top. Sorry puppy, you can't gnaw on my face. Haha, <laughs> look at me moonwalking. Thriller, do you hear the night? I wish I would turn around. Whew, my voice hurts from that yelp. Which I just dated this episode. Yes, I'm doing this in one session right now, but I don't think you care. Aw, he's all sad. Dogs get sad when they're working dogs and they can't perform their task. It's actually a thing, you know that? When, uh, like rescue dogs, like search and rescue dogs, or fire rescue dogs, um, avalanche kind of stuff. If they don't, or if they keep coming up on dead bodies, or they can't find any live people, they actually become depressed. And it's actually really sad. So what the firefighters are, uh, I don't know, just avalanche people. Uh, what they'll do is they'll actually have one of themselves go hide, so the dog can find them to up their spirits. I think that's fascinating information. You may not care, but I find it fascinating. How do I get up on that thing? Too busy talking. To notice how do I control that brain? Oh, I know. Okay. Dang it. Need this box. This. Is this whole society built on these... Whoa, he just climbed up there, that's cool. Society built on just these mindless people? I may need to find out some way to do some audio leveling when I screeched last episode. Just so it doesn't break people's eardrums and they sue me. I might have to look into that. I'm sure. Maybe I'll open up Audacity or something and do some minor edits. Just kind of bring down the levels. I'm pretty sure I need to land on that part. But I got to know. What's this? That's gonna have to be something, right? Alright, jump down. No, no, me jump down, not not you. Oh yeah, I can't go in the background. Never mind. Alright. Jump. Oh. Jump. You need to grab onto this. And then you need to jump. And then jump. Oh hey. There is another mind control thingy over here. I forget that my person actually doesn't get disconnected by telling him to do things. Ugh. He just became born out of that box. Slightly creepy. Okay, what's going on? 
here. What do you do for me? Can I get on top of that? Can you climb? You can. Oh, button! Dang it! That dude needs to fall off. He needs to fall out of... Oh no. I think I may... I need another... Another body. actually fall off I think like that okay oh yeah I can't tell him to fall off because then I fall myself off that's smart that's smart good job dude I'm intelligent all right I had to have done that in the right order because I can't get the guy out of the box So how come some of these are controlled by certain control mechanisms? I hope it explains that. Because so far what we've seen is it just controlled all of them in the area. And those ones had two very distinct ones. Okay. Alright, you pull this. Are those mindless ones? They sure did not look mindless. I don't want to fall down there. Uh, at this point, he's going to break his legs, so we're going to not jump on top of it. We're going to move it. About here. Still might not be far enough, but we'll see. Joink. Oh god, yep, not far enough. Okay, those are- Oh, dude! They were bringing in the robot to freeze me. Or not freeze me, that was... Well, nightmares. They're bringing in the robot to tase me. Alright, that should be pr plenty long, right? Ciao. Oh boy. Water? Thank you. I wonder if the kid actually knew that was water down there, because otherwise that was a very gutsy move. It's like either where I escape this part and break my ankles, or worse. things over here. I hope there's no weird water monsters. There shouldn't be. This seems to be more of a a messed up society of peoples. There haven't been introduced any other monster-like things, so that's good. Is there anything I can grab down here? That's awful deep. Yeah, I'm gonna drown, aren't I? Don't drown! Okay. How do I get out of here? Ain't nothing to grab. Okay. There's gotta be something in the water then. Right? Is that glowing? That looks to be purposely stand out stand outable by like game devs to say, hey, grab this. Oh, dude, you need to swim up, swim up. 
Okay. Come with me. It's probably faster to push it, but we're already doing it this way, so. Got it. I'm liking this game so far. Very interesting. It hasn't explained that white thing that was in the pig's butt, though. Interrogation room? Oh, it lowered the water. <laughs> if you hear that in the background, that is uh, my buddy playing. Probably Overwatch with my other friends. Oh! That's what I was meant to do, right? I totally meant to do that on purpose. That's not. Okay. I'm probably gonna die. They're probably gonna see me. Oh, I thought that was going to be a speed mechanic. Like, okay, it is. I just have another way to do it. Okay. This lets me back in. Yep. So you can retry. Okay. That's cool. Good design right there. Ow. Push button. Lower water. He's breathing harder. That's that's cool. So, I don't. It's probably not fear. It's probably more of making him run and swim like a crazy person, but never know. Gotta swim, gotta swim, gotta swim. Oh! Okay, maybe that's not quite what I thought it was. Is there something? Can I just lower it from here? Because that'd be great. I don't think I can. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, you die. Okay. Had to know, though. Had to know. Alright. Although this... Waiting for it is kind of punishing, saying, You messed up! Go do it right this time. Right, is there anything down here I can grab with me? Like a box or something to make me float quicker? Or can I throw something at this? Like, blam. No, don't be underwater, dude. Why is that door? Was that door? Was it open? I didn't think the door was open that time. Hmm. That's weird, he just decided to walk there for a second. Okay. Can I just turn this off and then on again? <laughs> okay, so the door is open. There's nothing I can grab, right? This door is shut. Right? No. Stayed open. Okay. Maybe I'm just not being fast enough? Like, I'm being... That, I don't quite understand. The door shuts before I get there. Oh, I bet you have to play with the water, and it's rising, so when it gets to a certain point, I need to push the button again to lower it. Okay. I think I figured it out. So something like... No, turn. Turn, you idiot. That's not what I meant. For some reason, he wouldn't stay down when I was telling him to swim down. And then he swam the other way and did a backflip and... What the? Controller's freaking out. There we go.
push button. No, down. Down! Oh, I pushed it twice. Great. Swim up. Swim up. So, is that how I'm supposed to do it? I think it is. Swim down. Dang it. All right. Gonna wait for the water to hit kind of top. No, dude, turn. Don't. You're gonna drown now because you're an idiot. Great. Okay. Maybe this isn't what you're supposed to do. If that is what you're supposed to do, I do not like the swimming mechanic because it kind of does backflips and swims very strangely. Does this door shut as soon as I push this button? Yeah, I can't make that. No. There is nothing here I can use, right? I can't make that. So I'm missing something. What am I missing? Is it just like a straight shot? I drowned last time I did this. This can't be it. That was it. Okay. You just had to be right on top of it. Oh man, that was intense. hear one of those glowing things. I thought I did anyway. I do. Oh, it's light. Okay. What is that for? What do you do for me? Oh, this probably helps me float on top of the water. Why I need it. We'll find out. Okay. Why do I need you? Oh, that's why I need you. The chain. Why are you swimming down? Don't do that. What's that? Is that a big... Oh, I thought that was a big ship in the background. It looks like an overpass. It very much could be an overpass. There's a train. Oh right, the light thing that it was warning me about. Okay, there's a, a pipe that I have to use. That was cool, did you see the, the shadow mechanic? It moves, that's awesome. Well done. Other way, great. Oh crap. Oh cool, I like this puzzle, this is cool. I'm assuming Taser things come from the sky. Ooh, just walked into it.
Don't get greedy. Whoa! Right on the ankle. I got greedy. <laughs> Ragdoll. Alright, well, we are at time. I think I'm gonna have to unfortunately call it right here before I was able to finish this puzzle. But I'm very much liking this game. It's not as spooky as I kind of anticipated it to be, but I'm liking it. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Hopefully this is making up for the lack of Witcher 3 play that I'm going to be doing. Uh, but if you liked it, please remember to like, subscribe, comment if you so desire. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps out the rescue organizations and the animals in need. And again, I am Basin. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!